good morning, good afternoon, good evening, people, um, good whatever time you're watching this. Uh, yes, I am on a walk again <laughs> to the exact same location I seem to go every day at the minute. Well, there isn't m many choices, many places to go because of lockdown, but this is one of my favourite places to go. No matter like what time of year it is, whatever situation. Yeah, so I need to watch for a step because this is like really it's steep. Still. There we go. So it might not look steep in this camera, but it's like pretty steep. This is actually one of the routes you can do on Strava. That's and let's get yeah, another really nice day today. Blue sky. That's where I'm heading. And if you don't know already, here's another pillbox. There's loads down here. Yeah, there's literally two in the woods over there, and then there's about three down the lane that way. Yeah, I think it's just because it has a great vantage point so you can see oncoming armies basically in the wall. So if you look over that way, that is the North Wessex stands. And you can't see it because of the woods, but basically carry on over that direction, you'll eventually end up in the Chilterns. So it's basically, yeah, you can see that sort of like V shape there, that's the Thames Valley. Yeah, I'm nearly at the tower. It's actually fairly busy, to be fair. Not as busy as it usually is because of like lockdown stuff. It's still fairly busy, so I'll try and keep my distance. I've got a mask on me just in case. Yeah, I think when I get there, I'll have a drink of water, maybe have like something to eat, so I'll bring a couple of snacks, and then I am debating what I do after that. If I head down, walk along the lanes, or go the way I came, or go a completely different way, like go through the woods, heading into the woods. That gate is kind of pointless. If you just hop through there. Oh well, it's probably actually it's probably better than then like horses and cows don't escape. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna be very quiet. I don't know if you can see. There's a deer. Where's it going? Yeah, there's a deer. That's the cool Denzel's built behind that. That's where the deer is. Just about to see it still. Don't know how you can see it, but it's just down there. Literally, it's looking at me right now. Yeah, you can sort of see it just going off there. That's cool though. Welcome back to the kitchen. So, today I'm attempting to make pizza. So, I've made the dough already, that's just sitting in a bowl to prove. Just covered it with some cling film. So I think it's been about a quarter of an hour, that's what it's recommended to leave it for. So let's take it out and make the base. So I've rolled my pizza dough out, here's how it's looking so far. So now I need to put the passata on and toppings. Now the best way to spread on your passata or tomato puree, whatever you're using, is at the back of a spoon. That's what I find the easiest anyway. So I'll put the pasta on now, so what we'll probably do is just sprinkle some flour on the edge, just give it that rustic Italian Neapolitan pizza look. Okay, something I probably should do is turn the oven on, which I forgot to do. Okay. I've just grated up the mozzarella Gouda and cheddar, so now it's time to put it on the pizza. Here's how we're looking. It actually looks really good. So now it's time to put it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Well, it's time to put this in the oven. <laughs> bye bye pizza. Here it comes, there's Gordon Ramsay. Here's how my pizza turned out. It didn't actually turn out too bad, apart from the massive hole in the middle. And I think I've put, put too much flour on the outside. But apart from that, pretty really decent. 